last week on The Season. You got to hone in on the things that I can improve on to make myself the best running back I can be in the country and be the best running back group in the country because we can do that. We got the tools to go make it happen. Like the right said, hey, it's a shake and the bake, man. You can't have one without the other. Shake and bake. He's going to get after you. He's going to get after your best player. He's going to get in their face and he's going to talk mess and he's going to try to get in their head. Yeah, I saw you coming. I saw you coming. I saw it. Solid. I saw it. Productive quarterback. They have a lot of confidence in him, and they got confidence to throw a deep ball here, but it's well covered and picked off. Interception, the first turnover of the game. That's Miles Hartsfield. Again, Ely making something happen. Ely, touchdown. Jerry on Ely, the true freshman, putting on a clinic here in this first half. All right, as you watch this, all right, this is from last season. This is first half of last season. There's two quarterbacks in the game, all right, but there's several concepts that you'll see that these guys are running on defense all right, that are very similar to what uh, we have in our package. All right, here we go, Mike. Hold it, hold it, go. Let's go, right there. Good, get him down from behind. That's the same thing, a backside linebacker coming across the formation to a frontside throw. That's what we got the interception on last Saturday against Southeastern. See it, Lakia? See it, Willie? That's a gift. Put it in wrapping paper. Put a bow on it. It's a gift. Take it to the house down the near sideline. Tuck it away nice and high and tight. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Get your eyes in the midsection. Don't let him do the stanky leg right here. Go and put your eyes through his midsection. Get him down. Force a fumble and get on it. Oh, I shouldn't even show this to you. I shouldn't even show this to you. Third and four. So you've already stoned him twice, right? It's third down and they're in 13 personnel. Raise your hand if you think they're going to run the gap right here. Thank you. Let's be smart. Here we go. Power pass. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. No, it's not sneaky. Everybody in America runs a throwback out of a jumbo set. Everybody. All right, we've repped this a million times. The Will linebacker is going to be all over it. Jack, if you see it, take it. All right? We got two guys that have eyes on this. Be patient. Now, hey, today, start fast. Starts with the walkthrough. It starts with the walkthrough. Okay. If there's something right there that we mess up, let us coach it. Let's make sure we're doing a great job with the fronts. All right. That's the a number one thing we got to get done today is make sure we control the front. They understand what we got to get done. We understand where we're at. All right. Then we got to have our eyes. It might be in coverage on the backside hash with the key route. All right. It might be in scrambles and getting our eyes to the hip and staying inside out and shooting our gun and going through the hip right there. All right, and keeping our leverage. But at the end of the day, when we get to team drills, finish. Get lined up, communicate, but finish every play. You might not be perfect. All right, I want you to have perfect footwork. I want you to have perfect hands. But it might not be perfect. But you can finish the play every time exactly how we train. And then when we go, it's got to be humming. Is there any questions on anything we had? Anything? We good? All right, here we go. We're on the field right here. Got plenty of time. 350. I want you out there. Let's get let's have a hell of a day. All right. Break. Get a break. Communication and effort has to be better than that. Right on two, one, two. Right. We got some steak. We got some 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 world famous chicken, some macaroni, and some of my grandma candy ends, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. I think we're gonna let Miles handle the grill though. Yeah, Miles on the grill. Hey, stop looking, man. You said taking notes and stuff, bro. Hey, hey, okay, no, hey, back up, bro. Back up, bro. Ah, leave, man. Everybody trying to steal a recipe. I'm gonna have to call in a second. I don't know, yeah. the, I don't know the cook time, the bake time, anything, but it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be real good. You gonna see it in a second. Once I put this in the oven, it's gonna come out golden brown on top. 
I got the best steak hey, in the nation. I'm telling you, they about to see it. They about to see it. He talking about that stuff. He came with his own bowl and everything. It was all seasoned up. So we're going to see. We're going to see if he's going to disappoint or he's going to be on point. He got some steak, man. I'm about to show these boys I got the best steak in Mississippi. Hey, best steak in Mississippi? I already right, got my got my apron is over with. About to show y'all. We're going to make something on the next time. If the steak not good, you and him got to go together to buy everybody in her steak. No, I got faith in me. I bet it. I bet it. I bet it. I bet it. If, if, if it's good, I'm going to admit to it. If it's good, I'll buy both of y'all steak. The only time I touch Dante Grill is when Dante want me to touch the grill. That's the thing. You touch Dante Grill. There's, there's a couple things in in our house that some people just don't touch. For me, it's my sneakers and my PS4. For Dante, it's his car and his grill. grill. <laughs> it's a little questionable right now. Look at him. Hey, the smoke killing them, but hold on. It's gonna turn out good. I seasoned it. You know, I seasoned it earlier today, so it should be it should be pretty good. It, it's coming along. It's coming along. He moving up to a B minus. I'm about to pull it out now. It's get it's the perfect color brown right now. Oh yeah, give it up. Give it up. How about that pork? What way is it? Right there. Mess with them ugly steaks. I think he hey, I kind of got a little hope in my boy, though. Oh, now, what's the bet? I forgot what's the bet. You know what? There ain't no bet no more. Nah, 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 nah. I'm with it. Nope. <laughs> if it don't taste good, I got to buy everybody. You got to buy everybody's steak. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You're going you gonna to be on TV next week, bro. Oh, Dante. What? I like this game. They can't see you, man. I said Grace. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, my grandma said, who's saying Grace? The Lord just let us. Just be the best people we can be. And Lord, please uh, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Yeah. I was gonna wait. I ain't gonna wait for you. I said, Grace, it's time to go. <laughs> Cause I was supposed to say, Grace, I know you hungry. You see, Dante. They got a good cover on this They got a good cover on Oh my God. Go ahead. Dante, huh? Break the whip. Two breaks on two. Y'all ready? Yeah. I gotta buy my steak, bro. <laughs> I gotta buy my steak, bro. <laughs> so now, you know, we're done cooking. My boy Jacquez chef up this is good steak. You see the plate? Now it's time to eat. It's time for y'all to go. It's been nice, but it's time to grub on down. So, uh, Look at your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you smile right here for me, friend. You know what I mean? Oh, you Hey, Daniel. Hi. How you doing? Good. You doing good? Yeah. We bought some stuff from you from uh, from Coach Luke and Keith Carter. So, uh, you like just football or you like all sports? You like a bunch of Ole Miss sports? Uh, I like mainly basketball and mainly basketball. Football. He's a huge Terrence Davis fan. And he watched him play for the Rebels. So now you have to check him out playing for the Raptors. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're any fan of mine is a friend, man. So you're a friend of mine. So that's for sure. Yeah, you gotta talk to the docs, make sure they can get 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 the game on tomorrow morning. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's gonna be a great game tomorrow. All the boys are ready and excited. You like that one? Come on, there's a whole pile of stuff in here, Daniel. You can call them through it all night. Yeah. Oh, is that some man shark socks? Yeah, I think so. Right, right there? Right there. Look at that. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> hey, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks, you too. Hey, Daniel, you too. I mean, it was just a really cool experience. Like, we have this time off on a Friday where the team is going to the hotel. Uh, the travel guys go to the hotel. And, uh, we can sit at home or we can find somewhere to give back to the community in some type of way. So 
me and Debo came and uh, came and saw Daniel and saw a couple other kids and uh, ho hopefully we made the day. That was that was the goal. A, t a talented hitter. Hey, I want still want to watch that ball hey, like this and hit that thing the other way. People don't know how hard that is. when you cut the off from the left. He likes he likes your shit. I know it, man. All right, our daughter's gonna take a picture of us here. Okay, all right. all right. You can get one of that and then get one up here. You can't pull them off. Oh, I see what you wanna try it on? No, I'm 13. Oh. Yeah, you might not have Your heel gonna be hanging out the back a little bit. I'm like a love in the half. There you go. Some such, just like everything that happened up to that point, man. That's cool. Because yeah. I definitely took y'all standards back over the foot. Like, that ain't how I'm gonna you know what I mean? So, so good for you. We, uh, well, you made that my day huge. saying that. That you was made huge. My day. Yeah, I don't think you realize how big that was. That was huge. The day that we beat Alabama because of you. It was a great day for all of us. Oh my gosh, like it's up there with, I have three children. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tell people all the time, like the joy from that from day. From that day is crazy. I still have it. Like I still get goosebumps. I mean, it's like. I think this will probably, I don't really, I don't really look, the play itself. It's not really too much what I care about. I care about the the enjoyment for the university. I think that's what gets me excited. I be mean, like, because it because it was a great time for everybody. Right. That's part of the the reason that kind of kept me going a little bit. And, uh, everybody in this room. Another reason why. Coach B, great um, example for me. I mean, he'll probably tell you, if, if y'all knew me my freshman year, y'all, there's no way I was supposed to be up here. I, um, Ole Miss definitely did more than make me, you know, a good football player. I went through a lot of adversity, a lot. Um, I really didn't like it when I first got it, to be honest. I used to walk around wild my ice homesick, man. I'm ready to go home. I don't got, I don't got no friends. I don't, I don't really know nobody. And now when I come, it's like, I don't even need my family because I feel like everybody here is family. And as a, so. I mean, if you don't want to go to Ole Miss, then don't take a visit. <laughs> yeah, you might just end up in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so much. That's my son right here, AJ. Say what up to the camera, man. What up? What up? <laughs> you, are you proud of that? Yes. Yeah. It's so hard to explain Ole Miss because it's just Ole Miss. Like you just gotta come. Like I don't really. It's so hard to put in words, man. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. See you right here, man. <laughs> A beautiful September morning in Oxford, Mississippi. Folks got an early start in the Grove ahead of this one between number 23 Cal and Ole Miss. The Rebels hosting a Pac-12 team for the first time in history. You already know what time it is. It's game time, baby. Time to show up. Hey, it's right there in front of you. All you got to do is go take it. Early in the contest, it looked as though the game would become an offensive slugfest, with California taking the first shot. So Mike McIntyre's defense trying to make a stand here. Garber's play action lobs it to the end zone wide open. Trayvon Clark touchdown Bears. With California in the lead, Ole Miss would lean on their own California kid to take a counter shot. On the slant, there's Elijah Moore with a catch. And a first down for Ole Miss. And quickly, Ole Miss out to midfield. Another first down for the Rebels. Empty backfield. Corral. Complete again to the 35-yard line. That catch by Sanders. Oh, yeah, 13. He's a California native, too. This is a special game for him as he takes off for the first down and more. Down to the 11-yard line. Now Ole Miss gets four cracks at it. Corral on the keeper, and he just walks in. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Hey, let's go! Hey, let's go! Hey, boy, get ready! Despite the early scores, 
The first half quickly turned into a defensive battle. On second down, some pressure coming, and Garbers is thrown down for a big loss. Oh, that land shark defense. This is Corral going ahead, and he'll get a handful back. So it's a third down and long for Ole Miss. Second down and nine. Garbers over the middle, and it's intercepted. DeAndre Prince brings it back to the 34-yard line. True freshman. And a rising star in Mike McIntyre's defense. So we go in at the half with a score 14-13 Cal. Stout defensive play would only allow for a slim one-point lead for Cal at the break. The number 23-ranked Golden Bears would stake their claim for a victory with a pair of quick striking drives. Garbers, standing tall, takes a bump, still looking deep down the middle. Going for Remigio, and he makes the catch. Throwing to the end zone, back shoulder. That's got to be a touchdown. And that's a touchdown for Cal. Play action, pass, seam route down the middle, caught there by Tunges, and he breaks clear. He could take it to the house. He's a 15, 10, 5, and in the end zone for the TD. Just a quick hitter down the left seam to the tight end, and there's a score for Cal and their fans in the far corner. Feeling good now as the Bears go up 27-13 with 9.03 to play. Nobody's giving you anything. Who's going to fight? Who's going to fight? Deep into the fourth, and despite the quick strikes and miscues, the Rebels knew they were still in the fight. What they didn't know was they would have to do it without their starting quarterback. Here's a pass, diving effort, incomplete to Tylen Knight on a crossing route at the 50 on second and 10 for the 38. And Matt Corral is shaken up. Remember Richard reported earlier that he was in pain, and now Matt's having trouble. He slams his fists against the turf and comes up slowly. They're going to go out and check on him. Well, John Rice Plumley is going to come in. We'll see for how long. Let's go. John Rice Plumley, true freshman, his first career snap, and he's going to run it. The Hattiesburg, Mississippi native, busted loose. Do you, team? All right, go. Run, run, run. Oh, he wants it. Come on. Inside the 20, and he's down inside the 15 yard line. J.R.P. On his first college play, rips off a 47-yard run. Wonderful play call. Handoff to Ely, left tackle, he's to the five, he's in the end zone, just like that. Bang, bang, and the Rebels have cut it to 28 to 19. Just like that, the Rebels had new life. Now the defense just needed to get the ball back. So here it is, third and very short. Oh, miss! They made the stop. Oh, he ain't get it. He ain't get it. No. He ain't get it. Let's go. It's what time to win the game. Ole Miss in a tough spot here. They've got the clock working against them. They have no timeouts. And a true freshman at quarterback in John Rice Plumley. Quick snap to Plumley. Runs to his right. He's looking downfield. Zips it and caught at the 37 for another first down, and it's Elijah Moore on the out route. John Rice Plumley, the backup quarterback, trying to be the hero, throwing it deep, downfield, has a man and is caught! Demarcus Gregory going up over the defender, Cameron Bynum, and hauls it in, first down and goal. Bears trying to hold on, gotta hurry up, 18 seconds, there's the snap, Plumley runs to his left, fires to the end zone, he's got his man, they're gonna mark him shy of the goal line, and the clock runs with 10 seconds. It's caught by Elijah Moore. They'll spot it quickly at the goal line with three seconds. Rebels got to get in there. The snap and the sneak by Plumley, and I don't think he got it, and the game is going to end right there. Clocks go to zero. Elijah Moore is right on the goal line. They said he didn't break the play. Plumley on the field was the runner was short of the line to game. The game is over. Wow. But y'all can't stop it. And you can score a touchdown. Coach, if we win it, man, you can stop it before the score. Well, why didn't they? The day the play you would like to review and you didn't have time to stop would be the play with Elijah Moore catching the ball right on the goal line. They marked it on the one foot line. But that's the play you would have liked to review, but uh, 
Obviously, you don't, you couldn't stop that. It was fourth down and the clock running out on you. Great effort at the end for Ole Miss to try to pull it out of the fire. But Cal's going to walk out of here 4-0. Now, here's the truth. We didn't make the plays we needed to make to win this game. That's the truth. Now, give Cal credit. Give Cal credit. They, they won the game. They made the plays to, make, to, to win the game. We did. If that's a top 25 football team, then we're damn well on our way. I can tell you that. Hey, we got a bunch of young guys that are working and getting better, but the attention to detail has to be there. The little things. The, to win, to be the top 25 football team, you got to have the little things and the attention to detail. And we got to clean that up. All the things from going to class, from cleaning up the locker room, to discipline, little things, touching the line, finishing, all the little things that it takes to have the culture of the program to win these games. Hey, hey, it's us. <coughs> it's us. We're all we got, but we're all we need. All right, don't let the noise come in here. No finger point. Hey, just bring it in tight, all right, and love on each other. That's all we can do is stick together. Uh, it was a tough loss, so we trying to, we just trying to pick each other up right now. We're just trying to you know, stay focused because we got a big team coming next week or going next week, so we're just trying to stay focused. The number one thing is they kept fighting, they kept fighting, they kept fighting, and uh, I was uh, really bad, and they, and they kept being physical the whole game, um, you know, and um, so that, I thought that was uh, really impressive by them to do that, it really was. The first thought was what, what was play call we were going to run, which was going to be a draw, and so John, John Rice is a pretty good runner. And then after he got in there, you know, we scored in a couple plays. Yeah, I, I just I think it's a credit. We, we had talked with him several times about being prepared for his opportunity. His opportunity uh, came and he made the best of it. Uh, you know, again, made a play with his legs and seven for seven on the last drive. I thought he uh, ignited the sideline and, and the stadium. You know, the refs call what they see. That's no shame to them, so we just all next to them. 